Here I have this recorder component I built using Stencil.js, but to be honest, the code behind it is a mess. Not because Stencil or anything, but because the code is a big pile of conditionals I can't make sense of anymore. I thought it might be fun and useful to rebuild the whole thing from scratch using Xstate. To give you an overview of what it does, it's a widget you can put on your website to receive voicemail from your visitors. It looks simple, but it's actually more complex than you might think. Here's how it works. You can click start recording. It will ask for access to your microphone. You can click allow and now it's recording. Here you have two choices. You can either stop or choose to retry. When you click the retry button, the recording is put on pause and you are asked if you want to start a new recording. If you choose no, the recording will resume. If you choose yes, the whole thing gets cancelled. And the other flow, so you hit start, then you can stop the recording, enter your full name and your email address and send it. Or you can cancel and here's another confirmation screen where you can pick uh, if you want to cancel or not. If you say no, you'll be redirected back to the recording form. If you say yes, the whole thing gets cancelled. Finally, if you record, hit stop and then send, the recording is submitted, but currently my endpoint is not working, but the end result should be a success message. Let's go ahead and start modeling this component using the Xstate visualizer. So I remove everything here and click update. Let's remove also this part and my initial state will be idle. And to define our states, we'll have idle. And here we should be able to start recording. But instead of actually starting the recording state, we'll be resolving our mic first. And here resolving mic we'll have, actually this will be a promise, so we'll have invoke and let's call it resolve mic and on done we'll be recording on error we'll go back to idle. Let's add our recording state and hit update. Okay, so record, resolving mic, on error, go back, on done, go and start recording. Here on the recording, we'll have two options. We'll be able to stop the recording, and we'll go to the stop state, or retry, and we'll go to confirm, retrying, or confirming retry, let's say. Okay, let's add the stop state and also the conforming retry. Okay, so we're recording, resolving the mic. Here we can stop or retry. Okay, on the stop state, we'll be able to submit our form. So we'll have submit and we'll go to the submitting state or we could cancel and we'll go to confirming cancel or we could enter our name or our email so enter email and here we'll have actions enter email or assign email and we'll have the same thing for name. Name and assign name. Child says submitting does not exist. Oh, we need to add the submitting state and the confirming cancel. Here it is. So I have record, done, stop, 
on the staff, we can enter the name and email. We can hit submit and it will go to the submitting. Cancel will go to confirm cancellation. Okay, let's continue with confirming retry. Here we can either say yes, we want to retry and we'll go to the idle state, so back to the beginning, or no, and we'll go to recording. Okay, next on the submitting, we'll invoke a promise. Submit and on done, we'll show the success state on error. We'll go back to stopped. Okay. Done and we're submitting child's success. We need to define the success state. Okay, invoke submit. Hmm, what's wrong? Oh, it's success with two C's. Okay, that looks better. And on the success state, this will be a final state. So we have to add type final. So this is the end of our flow. And on confirming cancel, we'll have yes or no. Yes, we'll go to idle. No, we'll go back to stopped. Update. Let's have a final look. Okay, so we can record, resolve the mic. If we have an error, we'll go back to idle. Then if the mic is resolved, we can start recording. Here we can retry and confirm if you want to retry, we'll go to idle. If we say no, we'll go back to recording. If we stop the recording, we can enter our name, email, choose to cancel, and then we'll be asked to confirm. If we say yes, it will go to idle. If we say no, we'll go back to stopped. And here we can choose to submit, which will invoke a promise. Here we're basically doing the Ajax request to our server. On error, we go back to stop and fix maybe the name or the email. Submit again and on success, on done, it will go to the success state. And that's pretty much it regarding the states and the transitions. Let's try and figure out what actions we might have. So in the resolve mic, for example, we'll have recording as our target, but we'll also have an action. And the action will be assign mic, because we'll be resolving the mic, but we also need to keep a reference of it. Now on the idle, we'll have target idle, and actions will have a sign resolve mic error. So if we get an error trying to resolve the mic, we'll need to assign it in our context so we can display it on the screen. Next up on the recording, well, when we enter the recording state, we'll have to actually start recording. So we'll need an entry action. So entry record. So once I enter the state, I will call a record action. Now on stopped, I don't think we have any actions, but on the confirm retry, we do have an action we need to execute. So that would be target confirming retry. And the action we need to execute is pause because we want to pause the recorder. Moving back down to stop. Here we'll have to invoke a stop recording callback. So we'll have invoke source stop recording. And when that happens, we'll have an assign audio transition that will basically assign the recording. So assign audio and release the microphone. So we won't need the mic anymore. We shouldn't do anything on submitting or cancel, 
but here on the enter name and email transition, we should also clear out the errors. So think about it. When we enter the name, we submit the form if we have any validation errors, and then we start re-entering the name, the error should be removed. So we have clear name errors. And same for the email. Oops. Email and email. Moving forward, we have confirming retry. Here we don't need to do anything. Or maybe on the when we do want to retry. We might want to release the mic because when we'll go back to our initial step, step will trigger the uh, record uh, transition that will resolve the mic again. So we want to release it before that happens. And on recording, um, target recording, we would want to resume because if I remember correctly, we are pausing here and here we want to resume the recording. Okay, then on submitting we have the success state. I don't think we can we should do anything here, but on the stop state, so when we receive an error, we'll go back to the stop state, but we'll execute some actions. And those are set errors or set submit errors sub so in case in case we get back some errors from the server we need to set them okay what's next then we have success confirm cancel here it's the same thing so we need to do target idle and actions we need to clear the form errors So the recorder, so when we do stop, we are releasing the mic anyway, so we don't need to release the mic again. Okay, and that's it, I think, let's do an update. So we are recording, and on done we assign the mic, on error we assign the mic errors, continue with recording. We trigger the record uh, method, record and reaction. Then we can retry, which will confirming retry. If we do yes, we'll release the mic. If we say no, we'll resume the recording. Then on stop, we'll assign the audio and release the mic. We can then enter the name and the email. And if we have any errors, we can clear the name errors and the email errors. And then when we finally submit, we go into the submitting state. We're on done. We'll just uh, receive a success message. On errors, we'll set the submit errors and basically go back to stop. Fill in the form again, submit, and on done, we'll be in a success state. In the next video, we'll take this machine model and bring it to life. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, click the bell button and see you next time. Bye.